Hi, so you want to brew a better cup of coffee at home. Uh, I'm Valerie King and I'm the owner of Lamp Post Coffee Roasters in Bonnie Lake, Washington. And I just want to welcome all you coffee adventurers, um, especially during our COVID-19, uh, what are we going to call this? It is a pandemic, but it's definitely an adventure. Um, so anyway, we just want to help you uh, brew a better cup of coffee at home. So I actually have Roastmaster Jeff helping me video this in our own home and Hi. kitchen. Um, and so I just want to share with you how you can brew a better cup of coffee using a drip brewer. Um, so there's a couple of things that I'm going to assume. One, <laughs> that you're using fresh roasted coffee. This is important. Um, today I'm brewing at Honduras. This is, seems to be the favorite right now of the family, of the team. Um, and it was brewed yesterday. Uh, so it's really fresh. It was, sorry, it was roasted yesterday. Um, and so it's really fresh. It actually could use another day or two of rest, but that's one of my first assumptions is that you're going to use fresh roasted coffee from your local coffee roaster. Uh, the second assumption I'm gonna make is that you're willing to experiment um, and find the right grind size for you. Find the right brewing um, time, how long you want it to extract, that you're willing to find coffee that you actually enjoy because there's more than just Honduras, like we have Ethiopian, we have some from Brazil, we have some from Colombia, we have some special um, blends right now, our anniversary blend as April is, uh, this is April, uh, we are in our seventh year of business as coffee roasters, while we've only been open as a coffee bar for about nine months, we have been roasting coffee for uh, seven years. So anyway, there's so much more to coffee than just one kind, so that's the other thing, to experiment with, which, what coffee do you enjoy? Um, and then every coffee has its favorite brewing method. So today, like I said, I'm doing the Honduras. Um, the other thing I want to know, I want, I'm going to assume, is that you're willing to invest in some basic equipment. Um, I'm going to put some links to the coffee brewer. This is what people seem to be the most concerned about. There are now 28 coffee brewers that are certified by the Specialty Coffee Association that are for home brewing. So I'm going to put that link in there so you can see what all 28 of them. This is one of them, the Bona Vita. We actually have a couple of these. Um, one that we use regularly, one that we take with us, like if we're going on a big gathering so we can brew coffee. Um, the other thing that I, but, but what I wanted to tell you is that I think the two things that I want you to invest in are actually a grinder and a coffee and a scale. It doesn't have to be a coffee scale. This is just a basic kitchen scale that I got off of Amazon. So as long as you can weigh in grams, <laughs> this is going to be critical. So I don't know, I think it was like 20 bucks, if that much, because I'm kind of cheap on that side of things. I'm going to have some expensive ones at the shop. Here, this is just a basic kitchen scale. I love that it has a timer. I'm not going to use it today. That's for a manual brewing method. But I want to be able to weigh um, whether it's in grams, which is what I use as grams all the time. You can do um, ounces is the other one. So, or pounds, but I'm using grams today. So invest in a grinder. Um, we'll do some more. I've had some blogs out on the grinder. This particular one is made by Barazza. This is the company that I, I actually like. I have three different grinders by them. Um, and I really enjoy them. This is the lowest... Uh, cost the lowest cost model um, it's right around $140 on Amazon again I'll link that there's a few others out there but as long as it's a burr grinder and that's what's important um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this it's a burr grinder. Ooh, we need to clean that we haven't cleaned that in a few weeks um, we brew most of our coffee at the shop now only one little brew in the morning so anyway that it has a it's conical right that you it's it's a burr grinder and that's the important thing i've talked before in one of my facebook lives about the difference between a burr grinder and a um, blade grinder and the blade is actually a spice mill so it's worth it um, i had a customer tell me that she actually went and bought a burr grinder after watching my uh, facebook live on grinders and she was so amazed at the change in her coffee. So she went from that little blade um, spice mill to an actual burr grinder and it made a big difference. So you can find some, um, Mr. Coffee makes some burr grinders, uh, Cuisinart makes some burr grinders. You don't have to spend a hundred dollars unless you want to. Um, but like I said, this, this happens to be, it's not my favorite of the Barazza, but it's the one we use at home and it works great. So I'm just gonna walk you through a little bit about what I do. 
Um, what we do in the morning, actually, honestly, most often Roastmaster Jeff sets up coffee for us at home. I am capable because I'm actually doing this video for you. But, um, so there's, there you go. So we're just gonna walk through what our normal routine is, right? So the important thing to me is I rinse my filters. I use a paper filter. I'm not a big metal um, or reusable filter fan. It leaves a metal taste to me. As you can see, I have this special little water faucet. Uh, it's our drinking water. It's a double filter mount under, under sink mounted. When I really started getting um, serious about uh, being a coffee maven, someone who knows a lot about coffee, water became very critical. That's a whole nother video or blog is about water. But I rinse my, I rinse my filter three times just because there's paper dust in there and that gets the paper dust out. Uh, then you're gonna measure. This is what you need. Your handy dandy kitchen scale. You're just gonna measure. Now, before I measure, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and measure so you can see it's gonna light up. And I have 60, 60 grams of coffee. And that's important because ratios are important for coffee brewing. I mean, we enjoy a one to 16, so one part coffee to 16 parts water ratio with our coffee. So I've written on here 60. It's really hard to see because it's black. Now we know. But at 1,000 mils, we like 60, actually it's 62 to 63 grams of, I'll have to change that, 62 to 63 grams of um, coffee to 1,000 milliliters or one liter of water. That's actually the one to 16 ratio. Well, sometimes, oh, now you get to see inside of our coffee uh, cupboard. Sometimes we only have so much coffee and we want to make a pot, but we don't know how much water do we need. Yes, this is the special Guatemala Geisha. It looks like we might have one more pot in there. And so I'll weigh that and see how much coffee do I have and then multiply that by 16 to get the amount of water that I'm going to need. So let's say, oh dear, I need an easy math problem. Um, yeah, so let's say I have 35 grams of coffee and I would multiply that by 16 and it would tell me, and no, I can't do it that fast, it would tell me how much water I needed. Uh, Roastmaster Jeff's gonna whip out his calculator and do it for me. Um, so anyway, that's what, sometimes that's what we do because if you only have so much coffee, you wanna know exactly how much water. And then I would get out just my regular, oh, how much is it? 35 grams of coffee would be how much water? 560 grams. There you go, 560 grams or 560 milliliters of, of water. And so then you could get your handy dandy kitchen um, measuring cup out and put 560, which would be just under the 600, right? You would, you would wanna measure. So anyway, and then um, we grind. So this is another place where you have to experiment. So ratio is one of the places you're gonna experiment. Grind size. I just start right in the middle when I get a new grinder. So this is like on a zero to 40. We're at about 22 right now on this particular barraza. And that's what, because we've experimented, we know that we like it at this, about this 22. I will tell you that I brewed a Chemex earlier um, and I kept it on this grind setting. It was too coarse. Okay, so I, I, I would take it down a couple notches if I'm, when I go to do it on the Chemex again. But just so you can see, this is what, it's kind of like, it's like table salt, um, a medium, like a medium table salt. That way you can see what it's like. And so we don't, we might measure this out and set everything up at night, um, except for we won't grind and we won't rinse till the morning. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is grind. I've already done that because it'll take several, like a minute for it to grind. Um, and it also takes about five to seven minutes for it to brew. But I've done that. And so we'll put it in and grind it immediately before we, we use it to brew the coffee. Um, you can use pre-ground coffee, but it's, stale so quickly. Once coffee is ground, it starts to stale. So if you want fresh coffee, grind it right before you brew it. You have about 10 minutes from the time you brew coffee till the actual staling process begins because air begins to degrade the coffee. So just so you know, invest in a coffee grinder. It'll be worth it, I promise. Um, so then, we I already did this because I know it takes so long. Um, we brew coffee. So we put in our thousand, we hit the start button and we 
get coffee. Now, normally I would give it a little stir or it's like a little. The Easter bunny. It does look like the Easter bunny. Normally I would give it a little um, swirl at the very end, the last thing. I didn't hear it. Um, I give it a little swirl so that all the water and uh, coffee get in contact with each other, and that makes a more even extraction. Um, so, yeah, so that's what we do. Then we pour some into our cup. All told, this takes about. What do you say seven minutes five to seven minutes from grind to coffee in the cup um, so there you go again I will link I'll put some <laughs> I'll put some links uh, included with this video uh, to find to the to two different no. grinders one will be to the uh, Cuisinart one will be to the Brazza um, I also will put a link in to the Specialty Coffee Association so you can, again, see all 28 um, certified home brewers. They get to the right temperature and they have a, they've already done a pre-time. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment or reach out via email or message us on Facebook. Um, you can reach us at info at lamppostcoffee.com. That's I-N-F-O, symbol at lamppost, L-A-M-P-P-O-S-T-C-O-F-F-E-E.com. And uh, we would love to hear from you. Or you can actually do this and tag us on Facebook, or you can instant message us on Facebook. At Lamp Post Coffee is our tag, and uh, the address that you can find us on both Instagram and Facebook. So I'd love to hear how you're doing with your brewing, so reach out and let us know. So enjoy your freshly brewed cup of coffee at home. Because I guarantee you, you can brew amazing coffee at home.